Hey, many fish. 16th of January, 2018. And I just wanted to show you something here real quick. Uh, it's not unusual to see flat earth articles, you know, floating around in mainstream papers. But, you know, this is the Los Angeles Times. They have a, you know, quite a, a large footprint out there. Large distribution. And the fact that this, this article is actually quite non-bias and there's very little blatant ridicule just the usual little innuendos um but it's funny because you know mainstream and a relatively you know fair i wouldn't say fair but thought-provoking you understand what i mean they're not trying to make the reader feel like they're an idiot if they even you know contemplate the actual shape and you know location of the world that they live on but i digress this one area here they're talking about the scientific uh community nasa and whatnot and uh they're talking to mark Sargent, and he says that uh, science doesn't even get their arguments out there they try to beat us with math, but people don't understand it. It might as well be static, so they listen to me. And the fact of the matter is, is they're not trying to beat you with math. What they're, what they're fooling you and tricking you with is magic and sorcery. And they're really good at it. And they use numbers. They use math and formulas and all the various things they use that actually do mathematically play out, but they're not perfect. They never are. They use God's perfect numbers to fool you. It's not about math. It's a, it's a spiritual thing. They're, they're literally magicians, sorcerers, black magic, and so on, so forth, all that kind of stuff. But the science doesn't even get their arguments out there, he says, and it's true. They just, up to this point, have just ridiculed it and said it's stupid, just like this guy he says, the serious science community, this is David Falk, assistant professor of astronomy at Los Angeles Valley College. The serious science community feels it's so basic that they don't want to waste their time debunking it. Okay? Now just hear what he's saying, he said. But this is a scary thing. The danger isn't that people don't believe that the Earth is round. It's the lack of scientific literacy. In other words... In, in his little demon spirit, it's saying they're not falling for the magic tricks anymore. That's what it's saying. The sorcery is beginning to wear off. It's not working anymore. People are asking too many questions, right? So what do they do? They ridicule. That's not working. There are a ton of celebrities, and this is becoming what it should be a real discussion right so i probably wouldn't even have made a video on this you know what i'm saying i gotta go to work and whatnot but the very next article i click the very next article i i i'm interested in watches you know what i mean so bloomberg puts out this uh article a complete guide to the modern era of watchmaking watchmaking is fascinating you guys right but look right here on the very very front here a flat earth watch this is on bloomberg that's a flat earth watch and you know just what am i even trying to illustrate here what i'm saying is i believe that these dark powers and principalities doing what they do are actually starting to position themselves not to debunk flat earth because that's failing but to co-opt it, but to take it and use it in their uh, favor. And they are very diabolical, and they are very good at what they do. They learn from their master, the devil. Okay? That's why you need Jesus. So you see this stuff, and you don't fall for their little stupid magic tricks. You know what I mean? And we could look at a lot of stuff, the times that they put on these watches and the various little things. There's a lot here. This watch here is very strange. You notice that's at 1010 and the design, right? The little kind of like hypnotist kind of design. All these three watches up here too are in 
at 10, 10. So we got 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. And it just reminded me of the, uh, I don't even, oh, I do. I got it right here. Not this one, but all these different variations. This one here. I'm just saying, you know, these, it comes upon me to show you these things for a reason. It's because these entities that work in the dark, like a, like a veneer of, you know, smoke over the truth. The truth is in there, but you got to go inside to get it. You need to seek Christ Jesus, Yeshua. You need to do that because he will show you the truth and help you to understand the world you actually live in. And then it's a beautiful thing from there on out. So please do that today. And uh, peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 